Good afternoon. It is uh, Wednesday. I believe it's May 6th. And uh, it's that's right at the middle of the day. It's 1.30. Uh, it's been a long day so far. I had stuff just stuff come up that uh, I couldn't get to what I needed to do until now. So uh, now I'm, I'm just now finally getting into the bees. I'm going to go over, uh, one thing I have to do today is I have to remove a queen excluder because I realized, I guess it was a day or two, a couple of days after I artificially swarmed that hive, uh, that big hive the other day, that, and during all the, you know, the trying to get them to accept the, the new nuke, try to get, accept the queen and all that. I had completely forgot that I had that at one time set that hive up for cloak board method and I still had planned on it before that so I had left the queen excluder on the bottom of the hive on the on the bottom board so uh, in the entrance uh, they have to go through the queen excluder to get in or out of the hive um, and there's a queen excluder under the honey supers so there's no way oh, the queen the virgin queen when she hatches uh, usually they're small enough that they can they can get through a queen excluder when they go out to do their mating flights but when they come back they're all swollen they're bigger uh, from uh, the mating flights that they can't get through a queen excluder so, um, I definitely have to remove that queen excluder off that hive today as quickly as possible. If I'd have had time to do it yesterday, I'd have done it yesterday. Because uh, we're pushing the envelope on when the queens are going to hatch. So, uh, I, and I don't need to get into that hive very deep. Uh, all I need to do is check make sure they have uh, enough food, which they should because... I'm open feeding uh, at the house, and, and they're using it. A lot of them, a lot of bees are using it. Uh, so there shouldn't be a problem with, with food stores on any of them right now. But uh, I need to take that off, and uh, I don't really need to get into the hive. I don't want to mess with them. Uh, make sure because I don't want to mess up those queen cells. Now the all the ones that had the queen cells before the other hive. And all the uh, mating nukes, they need. I need to check them to see if they're get, they have queens that are laying yet. Um, and if they're not, I may need to give them a, uh, a frame of brood from another hive just so they can make their queen. Because if, if I don't get to them soon enough, they may start uh, having a laying worker, which I don't want to deal with that. Um, the other two hives that haven't had swarm cells yet. I am at like eight days from the last inspection, so I'm uh, I'm definitely pushing the the time frame of when I could have queen cells if I don't watch them. So I need to get into those two, do regular inspections. I need to check all the other hives, the mating nukes, and the uh, the smaller hive that had the the queen cells a week ago or better. It was a little over a week ago. See if they have made a queen yet. See if she's back in laying. All the mating nukes, I need to check them. And I need to check on that uh, that nuke where I artificially swarmed a queen the other day and make sure that, they're, that she's still in there, that she haven't, hasn't absconded and all that kind of stuff. So it may be a long video, but I'm going to try to try to edit it down uh, so it's not just crazy long like some of mine have been lately. So anyway, y'all stand by. Here we go. All I got to do is get into this hive and get that queen excluder off that bottom board. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Um, now, I don't have a queen excluder on the bottom. I remember I put it up here just kind of for storage, so on, I don't have it on top of the brood boxes. But she still couldn't have got out even there. So, And I'm, I'm going to think I'm going to take that. There's a lot of bees in there, which is a good
good sign. A lot of bees up here in the honey super. They are capping that off. So, looks like I need to. You know, it depends on what the other hives are doing. I need to either slow down or quit feeding. So they're capping it off. I need to let them eat that. But yeah, look at all the bees there. Several of them in there. Um, that one I think is the heavy one, heaviest one. So I'm gonna do that one separately for sure. I was gonna try to move two at a time. That way I don't have to break up the hive as bad. But, oh yeah, that one's full. That one is full. I may have to spin that out just to feed it back to them later and give them some room when the flow starts. Our flow, we've got a, a light flow going on now. Most of, mostly just like some clover, dandelions. The blackberries are not coming on yet. That's full too. They're finally starting to draw that one out. The middle ones are drawing out. I just dropped a hive tool. All that's, these three are drawing out. This, these two aren't. So, gotta be careful. Don't get them to stovepipe, which means that they just go up the middle and draw it out and they don't draw out the, the outside ones. So, I may be swapping some frames before I close this up. But I do wanna get, before I get too in depth. Yeah, see that's, it's light I and mean, it's drawn out but it doesn't have anything in it. All right. I don't even need to get into this hive. There's no queen in it. But I do need to get this bottom board off of here. Oh uh, yeah, well, that made them mad. They're queenless too, that could be a reason there. A little on the testy side. Get this bottom board out of here. Yeah, see drones, drones can't get through there either. So that was stupid, leaving that on there. That was pretty stupid. Let me uh, make sure I didn't just screw the screw up royally and uh, no, there's no queen down there. Well, I, after I did it, I thought, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so the queen cells were in this box. All right, just put it back together. Yeah, had a, had a bunch of drones die because I didn't, I didn't let them out. That was stupid. Didn't think about the drones. I was just thinking about queens. So, no bottom board on there, or bottom board, no excluder there. Put the queen excluder below the honey supers to keep her out of here when they, when or if she returns from her mating flight. And I am gonna go ahead and try to uh, check aboard these a little bit too. They may get a little testy with me moving their honey around because they, uh, 
they've got something to, to guard now. And they don't have a queen, so that makes them mad too. So let me. Okay, one empty, empty full, full. Let me do empty here. Put the full one on the outside. And then empty. I'm gonna swap these, swap these two around. Empty a full one there. Yep. That'll work. Let's see how they see how they draw that out now. Yep. That's good. Yeah, once the once our flow hits, I'm gonna spin this out. Feed it back to him this fall. Yeah, it's a, another another step, another you know maybe unnecessary step, but I don't want to be harvesting uh, sugar water honey for for us or any of the people who might want to buy some honey this year because there's not going to be a whole lot of honey this year I don't think because I'm concentrating on on the increasing the numbers of the hive so that I, I want the, that upper entrance to go in the front Now, that one's done. That hive there was all in, all messed up, and that was all my fault, too. Okay, so. That one may take a while because I don't know if there's a queen in there or not. It may take me a while to find it. So let's do these two. Let's do these two and go through them. All, all really we're doing is checking for a queen, eggs, and larva, and uh, checking for queen cells. Make sure there's no queen cells. Queen cells are bad. Well, they can be bad, but I can use them. Maybe if I can make some more splits, put some more mating newts together. Because uh, I need to get all of those populated so I don't have to take a bunch of resources from other hives once I need them. I don't want to come off. I didn't smoke them either. I'm gonna try not to smoke them if I don't have to. And they're drawing it out. That one's empty. Those are all full of wax. I don't know if they're full of honey or not. But like I said, most of what's coming in right now is probably sugar water. What I need to do is to probably, that's the one thing I didn't bring this time. It's more honey supers because I didn't figure I'd need them, but it wouldn't hurt for me to ooh, for me to uh, get some more comb drawn out. If you get an opportunity to get them to draw comb out, do it every chance you get. The one thing I learned in my first couple of years doing this is drawing out comb is like gold. I would if I knew for sure somebody had a disease-free and chemical-free hive and they wanted to sell some drawn-out comb shoot that's one thing I would I'd buy before anything else just because like I said drawn out that gummit I'll drop that down that hole drawn out comb is 
like gold. Okay. I uh, don't need to get under the queen excluder. I got a feeling that one's heavy. Well, it's not too bad. It's got a little weight. It means they got a little honey in there. Nothing. It means they're not going to starve. That's a good, good thing. All right, we're looking for queen. This is the Nicot box. And I'm going to tell you what, what I'm going to do. Today's my second day off. Are you, y'all getting tired of me changing plans on the fly? But uh, I think what I may do is I think I'm about ready to try this again with a new queen. So especially since I'm feeding them. They feel like there's a flow going on. So hopefully she's ramped up. I'm going to check the brood box first. And see if they've got enough brood. You know, young brood, cat brood, other thing. To get them through the next several days anyway that way i mean i don't want to get them behind like i did that one that bunch there uh, i gotta move that box it's a little out of the line but if they've if they're good on brood here i think i may put the queen in the may put the queen in the in the new uh nicot box so we'll see what we got here really would rather have that where'd it go huh well i have no there it is lost i have two i really like this little j hook on these on these uh, hive tools because it sure helps you get these out of there whoa Dude, look at all the pollen. Wow. That thing is solid. Oh, that was close. Oh, that's solid pollen. I mean, they have got bee bread just all in that. That is awesome, though. That means they're going to be raising babies and lots of them. Sweet. Okay. We're gonna go this way since I made the, made my room this way. Mm. Pretty hefty. Nothing major, but there's lots of brood on there. And I do see lots of royal jelly down in those. I can't tell for sure if there is there's lots of pollen around it. Lots of royal jelly. So it looks like she has laid back. And there she is right there. So whew, I got to be careful. All right, let's put her back down. Because she's, I mean, she's, that's full too. That's all that's in between there is royal jelly. She's got royal jelly in it. So she's. She's definitely laying back, and they've got lots of brood. So, let me come back through here. i got to double check, make sure there's no queen cells first. Lots of drone brood on that one. Oh, look at all that. Look at all, I mean, there's all kinds of brood in there where it's already hatched out. She's laying back, and oh my gosh, that is full. So where it's hatched out, she's already laid back in it. It's full of larva. I mean, absolutely packed. So yeah, she's a good queen. She's a good laying queen there. Double, triple check, make sure there's no queen cells that are starting. Cause I definitely don't want to get into what I got into last time. Move that over just a little bit more. 
That's full of brood. And I can't tell if she's laid back in that or not. Mm, doesn't appear so. But it looks like it's just. Looks like it's. Uh, looks like it's been. It's just hatched out and it's been. They're getting it ready for her to go, to go back and lay. So yeah, I may have to confine her to the new, oh, wow. That what's not capped is full of larva. She got ramped up after I started feeding. Oh, that's heavy. Heavy with brood. Lots of brood. I'm bringing in pollen too. There's all that's neck, all that's, all that's larva around it. And that's pollen, oh there, I mean there. Yeah, it, I think it's time, I think it's time to confine her for a few days. So, I think she's gonna get put in this box today. And then, uh, And then, so there's nothing in that. Whoa, wind caught that. There's no eggs that I can see, or larva. The cells are so shiny in the bottom it's hard to see if you're it's hard to tell if you're getting like reflections or if you're seeing eggs i don't think i see eggs but it doesn't matter because she's fixing to go in that one oh that's some crazy burr comb right there it's gonna get scraped off yeah both sides. Get off of there. Both sides. Yeah, that's. Now that's. I don't know if that's real burr comb or if that's. Now this is burr comb. This is going to get scraped off. Now that right there. Oh, they're already starting putting. No, that's going to be, they're draw, drawing that out. They're already putting pollen up in that. They're looking for places to store pollen. So, they're, uh, they're really fired up for raising some babies right now. So, I need to get her confined while they're really ramped up. There's a empty frame, completely empty frame. Well, now they're starting to put their honey up in that one. So, I'm going to confine this queen today. I work tomorrow, nothing in that. Honey in that. So, I work tomorrow. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, this would be a good place to put that right there. Now I have to find her and confine her. 
all that should be let me double check here because how lucky could I get if since this has been in here so long that she's already laid eggs in it nope no eggs in that so she's going to get confined let's sit this across there very gently back in here and see if we can find her again in the same frame I'm afraid she jumped frames on me look at that those bees are yellow looks like they've been in the pollen feeder to me oh there she is right there and she's about to lay an egg she's sticking her head down into her measure see her stick her rear end down in there see if she'll lay for me she's not worried about the light that's for sure she's a good little queen she's not running around like a chicken with her head cut off She's measuring and looking in cells, looking for a place to lay. Let's see if she'll do it for me. Before I can find her. Oh, here we go. Nope. Nope. She changed right there she is. She's laying in that one right there. She's still. That's awesome. So she just laid on the very outside cell in this hive so before I drop this I need to get my queen catch her out queen clip actually as docile and slow as she is I may just be able to grab her where's the okay it's there oh I'm scared I don't like grabbing queens I really don't but I got her. Oh, I had her. Okay. I really need to do something with her before I drop her again. Let's put her in here. There. I don't know if. There we go. She's in there. Okay. sure these are all pushed down snug hopefully they won't hopefully there's no way that can fall off all right let's stick her right there there I need to mark that one too I'll have to mark the other one that caught box in B Okay. Told you these are, this is going to be a longer video. It might actually get cut into two because I don't like them. I don't like sitting and watch hour long videos any more than anybody else does. So I'm going to, I may cut this one in half because it's going to end up being longer. A long video. I'm positive it's going to be a long video because. I'm not even through the second hive yet. All right, that one. So I need to make sure I come back. Today's Wednesday. I work Thursday, Friday morning, and Friday afternoon if she hasn't laid already. So um, they still have a queen. They're not queenless, although they may be upset that she's not where they can easily get to her. I have to go through that little queen excluder thing. So all right. Whoops, dropped my phone. I think I may have just cracked my queen clip. Nope. All right. Good 
Get off of there. Get off of there. There. That one's queen right, but it's got the queen in the knock hot box. We're trying this again. If it doesn't work this time, I'm definitely not doing it again, and I will uh, I will try the regular old grafting method. As bad as I hate to, because I have no absolute no experience grafting it'll be my first time and all right I didn't really even have to use any smoke on that bunch I'm hoping the same here I think this is the bunch or is this I can't remember <laughs> one of them is the bunch where I had the queen locked up in the honey supers by accident I think it was this one but I'm not sure it may have been that one oh, that's that needs to be drawn there ain't nothing in that this bunch is let me see if this was that bunch They'll be a uh, brood here that's had, yeah, this is, I think this was the bunch. Cause she went through there laying like, like crazy. So all that, all that brood there's in the process of hatching out. So hopefully, ah, uh, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one with the uh, plastic queen excluder. I remember that now and I hate these things. Matter of fact, I brought an extra one so I could, uh, extra metal one so I could take this one out. Oh, I'll just use that one. I'll just, yeah, I'll just use that one. Because, uh, the only way, reason I bought that one, those, was because I, I needed one in a quick fast and in a hurry, and that was all that was available to me locally. So, still need this bunch to really get get ramped up stupid hive beetle yeah this bunch is definitely one that I should watch out for hive beetles and wax moths and stuff because look at all that wax on that that they could be drawn out this, I don't know what it is about this bunch, but since well, that's all honey, what little bit there is in there. Well, I don't know what she's doing, but uh, whatever it is, there ain't much to it. She's not, whoops. That's all. Oh, that's a. starter strip frame boy they drew all that out it looks nice but uh, maybe it's just the way my angle but that looks to me like drone brood that especially right there in the middle and see that drone that's drone brood it's got the the little domed caps on them so they drew all that out as drone brood I think I mean it looks like it to me anyway Let me double check make sure there's a queen in here she's there cuz she's laying now there's a lot of brood on that a lot of young brood at least she's laying back yeah, she's doing pretty good. Oh yeah, all that that's hatched out is laid back. So she's hopefully 
in the next couple weeks anyway this hive will really grow in, in population and uh, I can uh, not worry about them There's, that's completely full of brood that's full of brood and nectar uh, pollen around the edges so they're they're doing good they're they're really getting ready to grow the hive because all the babies all the brood and all the all the brood and all the uh, pollen that's in there I need to finish drawing that out all that's I mean all that's most of it's laid back and what's not laid back it's got a little bit of honey in it still haven't seen the queen I'd like to see her I don't have to because I know she's in there because I see her. there she is right there boy and she's on the perfect frame too because that thing is empty she ought to be laying like gangbusters I'm gonna put her back right where she was at and uh, I'm actually gonna see if I can't kind of check aboard this a little bit see if I can get them to draw out some of this stuff that's this comb that's been started it's just not drawn out it was right on the edge so see if I can get them to draw that out There's 10. Boy, that's a big box or something. There's a lot of gap in between those. Okay. So she's doing good. She just hadn't quite caught up yet. Oop. Queen excluder. I definitely want to keep her out of that honey super. See? All the drones that tried to get through that thing before. And died in the in their process with their heads hanging through that's kind of sad but really not I mean that means that uh, all these new virgin queens that are flying around did not get any genetics from this hive for a while so which is kind of sad because she was one of my better better queens which she's over there in that nuke now so I hadn't lost her but well I really like these queen excluders with the wood frames I've got a bunch of metal ones like that but they don't have the wood frames on them but man those are nice those right there I don't think I'm gonna buy any more from now on unless they have a wooden frame on them. And I may, if I ever get time, if I ever get time to get back in the shop and build, which I need really need to do badly because if I'm gonna expand my apiary, I gotta build some more boxes, some more bottom boards. And I think I got enough boxes. I need more bottom boards and more inner covers and lids and I just haven't had time to build them and I really don't want to buy them if I can build them they're not that hard to build all right that one's queen right and she's doing good I have got to remember that <laughs> okay so this one could have a laying new laying queen um, but think about it is she could be yeah I think she's she probably has enough to, uh, they're not that many bees 
coming out anyway. We may have to intervene here if those queen cells didn't take and everything's going south we may end up having to take some brood out of another hive oh i hope there's a virgin queen or a, not a virgin i hope she's actually bred but i hope there's a new queen in here and there's several bees there I have a queen excluder in there, so it's been at least a couple of weeks since I was in this hive because I knew they had the queen cells and I didn't want to mess with them. So they're drawing that out pretty good. Looks like I looks like I checkerboarded that in the past. light though mm -hmm. not terribly light looks like it feels like they got some honey Ooh, that looks full not capped but it looks full okay if I get this off here no that's not packed with honey but it's got some honey in it oh this is the one too that had the reason it swarmed is because I had taken and taken and taken <sighs> yeah I had taken and taken and taken the and didn't leave them enough drawn out wax and I think that was what triggered them to swarm because uh, they didn't have it, the queen didn't have any place to lay and they weren't drawing it out fast enough. So, start on this side. Yeah, let's see, they're, need, they're needing to draw this, draw this comb out in a bad way. Well, propolis here. Well, there's, oh! That was a different one. Of course, I don't think there was ever any eggs on this on this uh, frame, so I don't think that was actually a, a working queen cell. I think it was more for they were whew, panicking. Okay, I was, there. There's a lot of uh, empty frames here. I need to really need to get them to draw some of this stuff out. Look at this. Oh boy, I messed up. I have messed up when I did this. That's why they swarmed. They didn't have enough room for her to lay. Mike, what have you done, man? Okay, well, they're drawing that out. Good. It's a good thing. What is all this? This is wax moth damage, but don't tell me there's wax moths in here already. I don't think that's wax moths. I think that was just left over from when I had the damage on in that. Golly. Okay. Yeah, this this. Ooh. This colony's in trouble because they don't have enough wax for the queen to lay. They had queen cells, which means they didn't have a queen to begin with. So hopefully they have a queen now that is mated and ready to lay. That needs to be cleaned out of honey. They're backfilling that. Hopefully, right in here where all these bees are, there's actually a queen. Oh. There's no queen there. Wow, look at all the bees. All over each other. And something about that pile right in the middle. Makes me 
wonder why they need to draw that out though. Looks like they're trying to draw it out. The next frame I think is the one that had the queen cells on it, so. Oh, a crazy cow over there. Alright. What is that? That's a drone. That dead drone right there that looks like it's just rolling down the, the V's. I don't see a queen on here anywhere. Like I said, I love having a marked queen. That way you don't have to sit here and scour the frames. What is that? That's a drone, isn't it? Yeah, that's a drone. Yeah, I like not being, not having to scour, sit here and scour the frames for a queen. I like being able that dot just kind of jumps out at you. So, I don't see, and 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 finding the virgin queen in amongst all this mess would be like, no, that ain't gonna happen right now. I bet. So I'm hoping that she's already done her mating flights and come back and I'm just, hopefully she's on this, one of these next two frames here. Okay, well here's where the queen cells were. All right. I don't see any Eggs. I don't see no larva for sure. Um, what in the world? Oh, cows behind me. Uh, okay, right there. Is that a queen? Uh, that looks like a, a virgin queen to me right there. Is that what I'm seeing? Opinions that looks like a virgin queen It sure does. I'm gonna say that's a virgin queen right there And don't ask me how I saw her so quick It's just because she yeah, she's a virgin. I'm almost positive See her Right there 99% sure that's a virgin queen so Good hurt she needs to go out and mate and get back. I'll put them back in there so I don't desert, the, the, disturb them too much. Hopefully there's enough bees in here to get by until she goes out and gets mated and comes back. Whoa, look at all the pollen. They're getting ramped up to to raise some babies. There's no brood in here that I can find, so little Missy needs to get go get mated and come back and do her thing. So I'm actually gonna put that right there. Since they've started on it, put it right there. Oh gosh, what else? This has been started. So put that one there. And then put one that's empty, completely empty. Maybe they'll draw it out better if it's on a, that one's got it. That's the one that I put painted a bunch of wax on, so maybe they'll draw that out quicker. Put that right there, put these three blanks back. Hopefully they'll they should be I mean, if there's enough foragers, they're getting, there's enough sugar water being used at my house that they ought to be able to, they ought to be able to draw this stuff out. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure that was a virgin queen, which is encouraging that, uh, 
least maybe there is a queen in here. Now she still needs to go get go mate and come back and start laying eggs. Start laying so but it is encouraging because maybe they uh, maybe they'll uh, get ramped up. She'll come back and start laying quickly. Well, that was quicker than I thought it was going to be.